Welcome to another beautiful day in Minecraft. Today we are standing beside our iron farm, which is still producing iron. And I have prepped here a bit of uh, land. I'm not quite sure if it's uh, big enough, uh, but we can uh, always uh, extend in that direction. So Today I want to start on a noisy uh, factory that goes uh, beside this here. So we will have a small gap of uh, probably uh, five blocks. Then there would go in the uh, wall and then uh, uh, somewhere over here and it will be uh, an asymmetrical build. So entrance would be on this side, but the interior um, uh, is spread out. Uh, maybe you have already guessed from the uh, title of the video, but uh, in this area we will producing wood uh, and move it over here uh, where we uh, break up the uh, wood with uh, TNT duping. Uh, this follows a uh, design by uh, Il Mango and it can handle four different wood types that being birch, oak, jungle and uh, spruce. There is also a variant uh, similar that also could take uh, take care of uh, acacia, uh, but I find that I don't use that wood type that uh, uh, much, mainly because uh, when uh, stripped down to uh, planks. Um, it's orange and um, it's sometimes a bit difficult to uh, to find a build style that goes well with uh, that wood type. So the only use I see for acacia is uh, basically the uh, unstripped uh, logs which have a, a grayish bark uh, that could look good in uh, some cases. Uh, but let's get building. Um, I think uh, I will build up the uh, first part with the uh, chamber um, to grow the trees. Um, and I will bring you back once that is done. So the first part of the uh, tree farm is uh, done. So uh, basically it's neatly aligned here. Unfortunately I just uh, noticed that trees will come out on this side instead of that side. Uh, so uh, I will have to uh, push them around uh, so they uh, go to this side and are neatly aligned to uh, the uh, center here. So I will link uh, the uh, description to uh, El Mango's uh, tutorial because it's uh, it's good and uh, if you're able to follow the uh, instructions especially with placing all the uh, redstone it works like a charm so uh, on here we have the lever to uh, push that block down that uh, enables us to uh, grow oak farm uh, oak trees uh, especially uh, small oak trees because uh, big oak trees are an issue so let's give a quick demonstration and 
and it works. It's quite a bit noisy. Just holding uh, left shift down. And what now probably happened is no. But what usually happens that uh, the uh, oak or the uh, trees are pushed against the wall and we reach basically a push limit. Um, but the farm works. And I can get on with some more work. So I finally managed to uh, snake the uh, log trails around here on the uh, side and then on here turning another corner and there at the uh, center the last turn. It took me quite a while trial and error to figure out but uh, now this line is neatly aligned and basically it's at the first I had uh, all these uh, uh, piston pushers uh, tied to uh, the same input that also triggers uh, the uh, breaking of the uh, leaves and uh, pushing it out. But uh, somehow this did not work as consistently. So I set this up. Um, I have an observer uh, below the lowest block because uh, at the bottom we will always get a, a log block uh, which uh, detects uh, once the uh, log is pushed over. Um, then a uh, redstone dot on here that snakes around all the way to the top uh, powering these two uh, sticky pistons which then push this uh, redstone pillar onto the uh, uh, piston tower and that gets fired um, and uh, pushing everything over. So okay don't have any of this right now. Um, so let's turn this on. Oh, what I actually needed was just a bit of wood. And of course there is another wandering trader. Let's see if he has anything good to offer. They seldom do. Ooh, coral block. I take that. But first let's get some wood here. And then... Let's get up here and if I place this one down we should see uh, that piston, uh, this, this firing first and then uh, the uh, other one. So uh, place close attention. And there you go. And now we should see one single block of wood sticking out here. So let's remove that. And that's that done. So next step is uh, getting more space over here and uh, creating uh, the uh, blast chamber. Um, 
hopefully that's not that uh, that technical and I will manage without too much hassle so I finished it the uh, TNT dropper is uh, in place up there and below here we have a collection system this time I did it right with the uh, water streams not like uh, over there for the uh, columns which uh, sometimes get uh, stuck uh, somewhere in the water so uh, I would suggest let's give this a try there is still a lot of uh, dirt everywhere I had to uh, deb debug a bit uh, because at various stages uh, it stopped working uh, mainly because I did not uh, respect the uh, push limit for uh, pistons uh, for 12 blocks but now it's uh, all working as you can see and let's stop it um, we can still hear TNT blasting and dropping off locks it uh, should be uh, collected down here in this chest. Yes, and some other stuff. So almost this quick test almost gave us a full stack. Um, so yeah, farm is working. Took me a bit of time to uh, find all the mistakes uh, I made but uh I learned quite a bit in the in the process and so now we can lock all the uh, spruce oak birch and jungle that I need so that should prevent us from uh, manual chopping down trees forever uh, because for one of the future uh, projects I will need quite a bit of wood so that's the main reason I built this here uh, of course there will be a, a building that uh, goes around here and as you can see I shot a bit on uh, on this side so basically the wall will I need to fill in this this gap here and uh, yeah decorating will be for another time see you in the next one bye